Part 2. Character Discussion. Gurren Lagan has a lot of characters. Loads and loads and loads of characters, and more than a handful of them are major characters. I'm not going to try to get through all of them. I am just going to try to stick with the most important characters and talk about them. Let's start with Simo. He is the main character, after all. Even though I didn't realize it first, I thought it was Kamina. And can you blame me? I mean, Simone was a wimpy, weak little kid who was depressed half the time. He's not the type of protagonist I would associate with anime in general, and especially a series of this kind. I feel like he didn't even really become the guy that he was supposed to be until, like, the end of episode 21, when he was piloting Gurren Lagann with Viral. That was awesome. But even then, Simon was just so serious. Kamina was always fun to watch. He was fun to pretend to be, to look up to. From a storytelling point of view, that just makes his death even better. I mean, you gotta kill off the clowns, right? And when I'm rewatching it, I can totally see that Simone was supposed to be the main character all along. I mean, it was his idea to use Log On in the first place, and I just pronounced that very weird. For all of Kamina's bravado, he deferred to Simone. Always. And yet, I still like Kamina better. I feel like I like Kamina better because I used to be Simone. I had absolutely no self-confidence at all. But I really wanted to be Kamiya back then. I still kind of do. I want to be the Kamiya that I saw in the beginning of the series. Not the one who was just as scared as Simone and who had to believe in Simone to move forward. But the bombastic guy who was just awesome, totally confident, and just handled everything. I, I, I like that guy. There's also Yoko, who... In spite of having kiss issues, she might be the best character. Her romances never derail the plot of the series, and they never really stop anyone from doing their duty. She never stops them from doing their duty. And even after Kanye is gone, she goes ahead and does her duty. She is a complete badass through and through, and fairly decent as a role model. Though she's also pretty straightforward as a character. Kind of boring. Viral is way more interesting. He starts out as a very cliche, villainous character. Though his rivalry with Kamiya was pretty fun to watch. Though it turns tragic when Kamiya dies and he doesn't even realize it. Once he does find out about Kamiya, well, yeah, tragedy. Completely and utterly sad. Uh, and then he's made immortal by the Spiral King, and that's just plain cool right there. For the first half of the series, the trope name for him is he is an ineffectual, sympathetic villain, and I like that. After the time skip, though, I do kind of wish we'd seen a little bit more of him rebelling against the establishment there. Him being the hero a little bit, before he latched onto Simone. He comes across as a little bit opportunistic at first, when he does that. He, like, he's always following the strongest person. Then he turns out to be a true friend. And companion, and that's pretty awesome. At the ending of the series, the thing that really made me happiest was seeing Viral being the pilot or the captain or whatever of Super Galaxy Daiguren. He's still going strong. He could be a hero of another story, and that just kind of makes me want to like fist pump or something. All the other characters on Team Gurren and whatnot, I mean, they have their quirks and they're all badasses, but they don't really warrant too much attention. Sure, Kitan, he got his sacrifice there and it was epic, but he also just kind of felt like a Kamina 2.0, an imitation that was not as good as the original. As for Nia, she is the one character I don't like. Originally, I thought I would. I heard a bit about her before watching the series, that she was the enemy, that she was in disguise, that she was going to turn against them or whatever. But in the series itself, that yeah, didn't quite turn out the case. I mean, she was just so bland most of the time. 
she's among a crew full of badasses. And so she just kind of fades away into the background. Oh, that, that, that was... If she, if she truly turned evil... That would have been so different. It's weird, but I really liked Nia best when she was being the anti-spiral's mouthpiece. And not just because she was in a skin-tight black jumpsuit, which was awesome, but just the way she she was just blank-faced, but so much malice there. I mean, she was just so much more interesting that way. And the other villains, they they weren't really real characters. The Spiral King had a little bit, but they were more just like this giant unstoppable threat with no real personality to them that our heroes had to stop. Nia, as a villain, well, they say that love and hate are opposites. That no one can hate you as much as someone who used to love you. I feel like it would have been really cool if that was the way it was with Nia and Simon. She used to love him, now she absolutely hates him for whatever reason, and she's just the big bad there, and it would have been awesome. But that didn't happen, which is why she's my least favorite character. But aside from that, all the other characters, I mean, they were, they were pretty cool, mostly. 